Allen's test for thoracic outlet syndrome. Thoracic outlet syndrome is upper extremity symptom due to compression of the neurovascular bundle by various structures in the area just above the first rib and behind the clavicle. Allen's test aids in identification of thoracic outlet syndrome by causing costoclavicular approximation as well as creating tension in the scalene and pectoralis minor muscles. This results in compression of the subclavian and axillary vessels or the brachial plexus, causing reproduction of the patient's symptoms and dissipation of the radial pulse. The test has a sensitivity of 73.2% and a specificity of 97.1%. Indications for the test include symptoms commonly present in thoracic outlet syndrome, such as pain and paresthesia in the forearm, wrist, and hand, decreased grip strength, and color and temperature changes of the hand. There are no specific contraindications to performing this examination technique. However, if the testing movements are contraindicated for the patient, the test should not be performed. How to perform the test. The patient sits with the shoulder in 90 degrees of abduction and external rotation, with the elbow in 90 degrees of flexion and the forearm pronated. The examiner stands behind the patient and palpates the radial pulse. The patient then rotates their head to the side opposite that being tested. The examiner continues to feel for the pulse, noting any changes. The testing position is held for about 10 to 15 seconds. A positive test is indicated by loss of the radial pulse and symptom reproduction, indicating there is compression of the subclavian and axillary vessels or the brachial plexus. Stephanie, I'll be your physical therapist today. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me what brings you in today. Um, I'm having some problems with my right arm. I'm feeling just like some tingling and um, one thing is when I reach for my coffee cup, I just can't get a good grip on it. Okay, how about any pain in that arm? Um, yeah, I am feeling some pain. It just kind of runs down through here. Okay, so not really one specific spot, just no. throughout the whole arm. Yeah. Okay, based on the symptoms that you're describing, one likely diagnosis I'm thinking is thoracic outlet syndrome. So what this is, is basically the nerves and arteries that run from your neck down into your arm may be getting compressed further up, causing your symptoms. So a test that can help me determine if this is your diagnosis is called Allen's test. So for this test, I'm gonna have you with your arm in this position, and I'm gonna stand behind you feeling for your pulse. Then I'm going to have you turn your head to the opposite side when I say so. We'll hold this for about 15 seconds. See if this causes your pulse to disappear as well as reproduces any of your symptoms. So first I want to do this test on your unaffected side. So we'll start on the left just to get a hang of it and to make sure that we get a negative test on the side. All right, go ahead and put your arm in that position. Go ahead and turn to the right. So we'll hold this for 15 seconds. And again, you shouldn't be feeling anything with this side, but we'll reassess afterwards. Okay, go ahead and bring your head back to the middle and relax your arm. So any symptoms on that side? No. Okay, and I did feel your pulse throughout the whole time, so again, that was a negative test for this left side. Now we'll try it on the right side. Okay. So go ahead and bring your arm in that same position, and then feel for your pulse. Go ahead and turn to the left, please. I'll hold this for 15 seconds. Or more than? Uh, more than. Okay. 
So this would be a positive test for the right side because I did feel your pulse disappear and you said it reproduced your symptoms. So that just increases the likelihood that you do have thoracic outlet syndrome. I'd like to do a few more tests just to make sure that this is the correct diagnosis before we begin treatment. All right, thank you.